opportunity to preside over the affairs of our beloved institution in the last uh, 22 months. Thank you too to the entire Senate family for your support. It is already a bonus for me that you, my beloved colleagues, entrusted that exalted position to me. After all, what is important for any person, especially one in public service, is to do his or her best to advance the development of his or her country and people, and not to hang on to the position the individual occupies come hell or high water. The rostrum up there gives the occupant a unique vantage point. When there was an impasse on the floor, who did I see solve it? My nominee for the next Senate President. When there was a difficult procedural issue on the floor, who did we consult? My nominee. When we needed to know Senate President, who did we turn to? My nominee. When you had issues about recent political developments, who did you approach? My nominee. In short, if something is happening in our neighborhood, who do we call? No other than my nominee. I know on a personal basis that my nominee was the one who helped me solicit your signatures to our 11-point majority legislative agenda. My nominee is an institution in the Senate. He is the longest serving senator, having served in the Senate for around 20 years now. In his years in the Senate, he has held the following positions, minority leader and majority leader. He has seen legislative work from all possible angles. He has been there and done that. In his long career in the Senate, he has held leadership. He has always held leadership positions. My nominee is an institution in show business, having been a part of the longest running variety show in the history of the Philippines, Eat Bulaga. My nominee is an institution in the music industry, having composed and performed songs which were hits during my younger years and which still make the young people of today, the millennials, sway their bodies. He wrote Magkaisa, widely considered as the anthem of the EDSA revolution, for which he won a Catholic mass media award. My nominee is an institution in sports. He has represented our country in international competitions in bowling and in golf. I consider him to be the Filipino version of Tiger Woods. My nominee is also an institution in his own political party. Our re-electionist senators will be happy to know that my nominee belongs to a party which is a friend to all parties. I am very lucky that, my, that this person volunteered to help me as my majority leader. I was therefore able to work closely with him for the past close to two years. I witness his professionalism. He is always present, always on time, always prepared. That shows the dedication of this man to his work and also to our institution. I felt his sincerity as a friend and as a colleague. And best of all, I got to know him on a personal level. I believe in this good man and in his abilities. Hence, it is my honor and privilege to nominate as the next president of the Senate, a person whose life appears to have captured the essential components of Filipino life, work and fun. Every Filipino must know how to have serious moments and light moments in life. And I do this nomination without any hesitation because I know that from my close association with him, the senator deserves the post. As a legislator, Senator Vicente Tito Soto III has authored laws that not only address the problems caused by certain aberrations in our society like the anti-drug laws, but also positively promote the aspirations of our people for jobs, like the Tourism Act, and for justice, like the creation of family courts. Not only did he author those high objective legislations, he also sought to make life 
more meaningful for our fisher, fisher folk by his pushing for the passage of the 1998 Fisheries Code and life safer by requiring people using land transportation to use seat belts. These are but some, some, I can only uh, mention some of the many numerous achievements of, of my nominee. Some of the down-to-earth laws that Senator Soto authored and supported for the good of the people. I now quote words of wisdom emanating from my nominee, which I would like to share with our colleagues and the Filipino people. I don't divide my attention among politics, showbiz, sports, or even my family. I weave them all together because I find that only then can I do my best in all of them. Maybe somehow we can use that adage as our own guide in the performance of our work for our people. Hence, my dear colleagues, it is therefore my honor and privilege to nominate as the next Senate President, our friend and the people's servant, our Tito Sen, Senator Vicente Tito Soto III. I so move, Mr. President. Mr. President, it has been moved that we elect Senator Vicente C. Soto III as President of the Senate. Is there any objection? Mr. President, minority. I move to recognize the Minority Leader, Senator Franklin Drillon. The Minority Leader is recognized. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Senator Honasan. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, we do not intend to nominate anyone from the minority group to stand uh, as a candidate for the presidency of this chamber. Uh, unless there is another nominee from the majority group, the expectation is that the uh, um, election will be unanimous. However, unless we manifest our position on record, we might become part of the majority uh, voting for uh, Senator Soto and we will disappear as a minority group, which I don't think is good. And therefore, Mr. President, in behalf of this representation, Senator Pangilinan, Senator Recto, I'm oh, sorry, Senator Aquino, <laughs> Senator Trillanes, and Senator Diveros, and Senator De Lima, we place on record our abstention on the election of the next president of the Senate. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for the qualification, Minority Leader. Majority Leader. Mr. President, I move to recognize Senator Emmanuel Pacquiao. Senator Pacquiao is recognized. Mr. Mr. President, good uh, afternoon, and uh, to my colleagues, uh, uh, I rise for a manifestation, Mr. President. I join my uh, colleagues uh, in expressing our trust and confidence in the appointment of Majority Floor Leader, Senator Vicente Soto III, as our new Senate President. The majority's decision is an expression of trust and confidence of Senator Soto. I join the majority uh, in fully supporting his leadership. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for seconding the nomination. Majority Leader, do you move for the previous question? That is correct, Mr. President. Is there any objection? Hearing none, Senator Vicente C. Soto III is hereby elected to the Senate Presidency. Mr. President, I move that the presiding officer designate Senator Loren Legarda, Senator Cynthia Villar, Senator Grace Poe, Senator Risa Hontiveros. Senator Risa Hontiveros and Senator Nancy Binay to compose the committee that will inform Senator Soto of his election as president of the Senate. The senators mentioned, is there any objection? There being none, motion is approved. The senators mentioned are so designated. Majority Leader. At si Senator Tito Soto nga po ang bagong Senate President, kapalit ni Senator Coco Pimentel na nagbitiw para magkaroon daw po ng sapat na panahon si Soto upang mamuno sa pagpasa ng mahalagang batas bago matapos ang 70th Congress sa Hunyo ng susunod na taon. Nakatatak na warmang magsagawa po ng press conference ang bagong Senate President na si Senator Tito Soto.